What is up? No intro. I can't do the intro. It just feels stupid to do the fucking intro. Earlier today, I was so proud of Drama Alert. I was so proud. People were giving me shit on Twitter. And I was just, I'm so proud of how successful my show has been becoming. But now as I sit here in front of you, I don't feel proud at all. I feel ashamed. I feel like a like a fucking dirtbag, like an asshole, like a fucking I I I feel horrible. Horrible is the best word for it. I feel horrible. I take pride in this show. I I work hard on this show. I have people that work with me on this show. And earlier today, someone on my news team provided me with a story that I thought was vetted, that I thought was correct, and it wasn't. It was wrong. And this isn't a little fuck up. This is a big fuck up. This is a serious big fuck up to the point where I just feel ashamed. I feel ashamed. I can't believe that we would fuck up like this. We reported a story that this Massachusetts man, John Phillips, had sex with a teen that he married in an online game in RudeScape back in 2011, okay? And then he got out of jail and that he's streaming on Twitch again. Now, the problem with this is that that's not John. That's a gentleman named Tony. And when we reported this video, a bunch of you went over and harassed this guy. Called him names, pedo, sex offender, you name it. This guy didn't fucking do anything. He didn't do anything wrong. And because of me, he was harassed for about two hours. I was streaming at the time on my own live stream, and someone came in and said, you know, you got it wrong, you got the story wrong, and I thought they were fucking with me. <coughs> <coughs> I thought they were fucking with me. I didn't. At first, I like blew it off. And then after about 10 minutes, I went into the Skype chat with my news team, went through, questioned the guy that get me the news and asked him, how did you vet this? How did you confirm any of this? And he said him and another person on my news team sat there for hours looking at the faces and identified who was who and that it was the right guy. And I just, I fucking lost it. My heart sunk into my stomach. The minute he gave me this explanation that they matched the faces, I realized that we just so fucked up. And I just, I fucking died right there on my live stream. Like I immediately took down the video and I immediately uploaded a video to Twitter telling everyone that we got this story wrong and that we've taken the video and that the guy that works for me is no longer working for me and any damages that we've caused this guy, Tony, that we are going to take care of. I feel horrible. I mean, I know the responsible thing to do was to do what we did, right? I know the responsible thing is to acknowledge that we got this wrong, take down the fucking video and try to take care of the guy and fix this financially or any way that he wants to make sure that we somehow fix our wrongdoings. And I feel like we've done that because prior to any video being made about the situation, prior to anyone talking about the situation, we came out first and acknowledged that we were wrong. I think, you know, we came out um, six hours ago as I'm making this and the videos that were made about me and how we fucked this up are like three hours. So, we came out a full three hours before anyone made a video talking about this, saying that we got it wrong, that we're going to take responsibility, that we've taken down the video, that we removed that guy off. And I'm not telling you this to somehow defend me or make me look better in any way, but I just want to point out that if you think that we don't take this serious, you're wrong. We take this very serious. I I feel fucking horrible. I pride myself 
on getting you the facts. Like I pride myself on getting this right. And not only did I fail you, but I failed this stranger that I don't even know that sent a bunch of hate his way. Like it just this innocent guy that had nothing to do with anything. And I just, I want to fix it. I want to apologize. I want to talk to this guy, Tony, and see if there's anything I can do. I want to... I don't ever want to fuck up like this again. I don't ever want to fail you like this again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we got this wrong. I pride myself on being right. And I was not right this time. And Tony, if you're watching, we're going to make this right with you. No matter what we have to do, 